Okay, I'm Matt, I'm the executive chef of Pork's Mum. This is our sirloin box, so I'm just going to run you through the ingredients. So we have two 35 day aged sirloins, which are from traditional British breeds. We have some gentleman's relish, which is basically like an anchovy butter, so it's got anchovy in there, nutmeg, black pepper, can. This is going to go, it's going to melt beautifully into our purple sprouting pot broccoli. Purple sprouting broccoli is seasonal, it's amazing this time of year. All we're going to do is cook it in lots of salted water, throw the anchovy butter on top, and that's it. We've got some green peppercorn sauce, which has got veal uh, in there, lots of double cream and lots of green peppercorns. Then we have Matt's Ultimate Oven Chips. We're just literally going to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes, give them a turn every now and again, and they're the best oven chip you've ever tasted. Okay, first thing we're going to do is our oven chips. Our steak's probably going to take 5 to 10 minutes, so the oven chips will take 20. We've got some lovely nuggets of beef dripping here. Save one of them, it goes into your frying pan for your sirloins. Now these, these oven chips, what we've done is we've just literally blanched them in lots of salt and water, give them a nice chuff, we want to break all the edges, and then we leave them in the fridge overnight, just to dehydrate, take as much water out as possible. Then we blanch them in beef dripping, literally for 10 or 15 minutes, so you get a nice golden color, and all you have to do at home is finish them in the oven. I'm gonna put them in the oven 180 degrees for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna turn them every five, 10 minutes or so, to treat it like a roast potato at home. That in, it's that easy, straight in the oven. So now we're gonna cook our sirloin. So I've got a nice heavy pan here. This has been on about five, five minutes or so. It's on a nice hot heat. What you wanna do is get it nice and smoking. We've got the little nugget of beef dripping in there. We're gonna season our steaks with the molden. Be generous with your seasoning. So my steaks have been on about five minutes. We're looking for a nice deep golden colour just like this. I'm going to turn them over. These I'm going to cook medium rare. So I want to take it to a core temperature of 50 C when I take them off. We're going to rest it up come to 55. It's going to be perfect medium rare. Now we're going to check our chips. So our chips have been in 10 minutes. We're going to give them a little toss around. You can see, you can hear that noise. It's been lovely and crispy. And we're going to go back in for another 10 minutes. And we're ready to go. So our steaks are nearly ready. See, so you've got this lovely fat on here. What you want to do is try and render that down. So you can balance them together like so. Just for a couple of minutes, just so it caramelizes the fat. see it starting to go golden there like that. Just a couple of minutes. Okay, once your fat's rendered, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna probe our steak. Remember, we're gonna serve these medium rare. That's 55 degrees serving temperature. So I wanna take these off to 50. So this is on 49, I'm really happy with that, so I'm gonna take these off now. So we've got a lovely color on there. So I've been cooking these for about 10 minutes. The general rule of thumb is, you cook for 10, rest for 10. So we're five minutes away from serving, now we're gonna do our purple sprouts and broccoli. So a lovely seasonal green veg. What you wanna do is just trim the ends off, just these woody pieces on the end. Keep the leaves on. Boiling water, and it's really important the water is actually boiling. Lots of salt, you want to get that salt inside the vegetable. In, this is going to take probably three to five minutes. The best way to see if it's ready, with a small knife so it's nice and tender, we'll just take a bite. While this is cooking, we're going to warm our peppercorn sauce up. This will literally take one to two minutes. Our broccoli's been in three or four minutes, we're going to check it. This is what I normally do at home, I'll take a piece out. Put a little piece off. Perfect. Turn that off. Another bowl. Anchovy butter. Just break it up slightly. With our tongs. Just drain it off. You can also steam this at home. I just like to get the salt in there, as you get from the salt and water. Nice, nice toss 
ram. Lots of that lovely gentleman's relish. It doesn't all have to melt. Chips have been in 20 minutes. Give it another shake. It's a lovely golden. And you can hear the lovely and crispy. These will be the best oven chips you'll ever have. Season with a molten sea salt. Again, be quite generous. Try some broccoli with gentleman's relish, our peppercorn sauce, our 35 day dry aged sirloins, and Matt's ultimate oven chips. And that's our sirloin box.